Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on deploying a Bold BI server in a Microsoft Azure environment. Bold BI supports deployment in two ways, self-deployment and deploying from Microsoft Azure Marketplace. We have already created a video for self-deployment in an Azure VM. You can find a link to that video in the description. Now, you will see how to deploy a Bold BI server from the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. Before starting the process, you need to make sure you have the recommended VM configuration. Here are the details about the recommended VM configuration to use Bold BI Server on Microsoft Azure. You can use general purpose VM sizes for testing or development environments and memory optimized VM sizes for production environments. Please refer to our documentation in this video description to see the recommended specifications for testing, development, and production environments. Let me open the virtual machine I have created for a testing environment. Here, you can see the Bold BI server is deployed in the Microsoft Azure environment. Let's see how to do this deployment step by step. First, you need to create a Bold BI server virtual machine in the Azure environment based on the recommended Azure VM configuration. Once the VM is created, you need to connect the virtual machine through a remote desktop connection. Then, you need to run the Bold BI server which is installed and deployed in your VM. Finally, you have to follow the steps for the application startup to create and manage dashboards in the Bold BI server in the Azure environment. First, let me show you how to create a Bold BI server virtual machine. Go to the Azure portal, which I have already signed into. I already have a resource group and now I'm going to create a virtual machine under this group. Next, we need the Bold BI server pre-configured image from the marketplace. Click Create, type Bold BI Enterprise in the search box, choose the Bold BI Enterprise, multi-tenant option, and click Create. The virtual machine configuration screen will prompt us to provide the necessary admin and storage details to create the VM. The subscription and resource group are selected by default. Enter the VM name, set the region, and here the image option is selected by default as per the chosen product Bold BI Enterprise from the marketplace. Next, choose the size that meets your system requirements. You can check the system requirements in the documentation I have linked to in the video description. Then you need to set the administrator account. Provide the username and set the password. Also, confirm the password which you have set. Click Next and choose the OS disk type under the Disks tab. I am selecting standard SSD for the testing environment. You can choose premium SSD for the production environment. Then move to the networking tab by clicking next, and here you will find the network interface which is created when creating the virtual machine. You can also create a new virtual network if needed. Click next to move to the management page. Here you can configure monitoring and management options for your VM. Move to the advanced tab by clicking next, and here you can add additional configuration, agents, scripts, or applications. Click next to move to the Tags page which helps organize your Azure resources. Then go to Review plus Create and review your settings. Click Create to start the Bold BI Enterprise Multi-Tenant Server Virtual Machine Deployment. Now the virtual machine is created. Once the VM is created, you can connect the virtual machine through a remote desktop connection from a Windows computer. For Mac and Linux users, I have provided reference links in the video description to learn how to connect virtual machines. Now let me explain how to connect to the VM from a Windows machine. Enter the VM and click Connect. Choose RDP to download the .rdp file and open it from your local machine. A dialog will open. Click Connect. Now the Windows Security dialog will appear. Choose Use a different account, provide the credentials you gave while creating the VM, and click OK. Next, the Identity Verification window will open. Click Yes to accept the certificate errors for this connection. 
the virtual machine will be opened. Here, you can see the desktop shortcut for Bold BI since it is installed and deployed already from the marketplace. Also, Bold BI server is hosted in IIS. Next, you need to run the Bold BI server. Double click on the desktop shortcut, Start Bold BI in IIS. The application startup page will open in your default browser. Here, I made Chrome my default browser. Next, you need to configure the application startup to create interactive dashboards. We have already created a video for the configuration steps. You can find the video link in the description. Also, you can refer to this documentation page for the application startup settings. In this video, I have shown you how to deploy a Bold BI server from Azure Marketplace. You can refer to the help documentation links in the description for more info. Bold BI Embedded Edition can be manually upgraded to the latest version at any time. Links to documentation on this are also in the video description. To download the latest version or add more servers based on your deployment needs from the Bold BI site, click the profile icon available here. It will redirect you to the accounts page. Here, you can manage your subscription plans, make payments, and add more servers. Please leave a comment with any questions you may have or any additional features you would like to see in Bold BI. Thanks for watching this video.